when I was broke, I had to make it happen. When I was sick, I had to make it happen. No excuses. I have to make it happen. You can too. Hey, 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 it's your girl Shakita D Days. I'm super excited to be here for another episode of the Boss Up Visual Podcast Show. I want to shout out my Miami crew out there that's been tuning in. You guys have really been showing love and support for this podcast. Continue to tune in, share, like, and subscribe for the benefits that we have. We are super excited to announce some major events that are coming up in 2022. We have the largest networking event, the Balsa Visual Conference, that's coming up 2022. Don't miss out, guys. Their tickets are limited, so go get your tickets. The free tickets are running out. And there's only a limited amount of tickets for each package that you select. So now I want to talk about is Halloween. We want to continue with our Halloween seg. With Halloween, it's about um, revelations. It's about illusions. It's about mystical, mysterious events happening in our life. Um, the change, the movement of things that we see occurring in front of our face. And for this Halloween season, we just want to be cautious about our our health, be cautious about our emotions, and just take care of ourselves in this season. Just be be um, be stingy with your with your um, with yourself, and provide that mental health that you need for yourself and that guidance that you need to take care of you this season. Now we're going to get into our show. We're going to have Juice Baby, aka Ojafa the Outspoken, come on with another segment for you guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy, Juice Baby, in your chest, making it do what it do. You already know this is another episode of Boss Up Podcast, and this is your host. And right now, we are coming at you with some real, real. And it's about being a parent to your kids, right? Not being the adversary, being a parent, and making sure that your child has the best experience on earth. Pause. Now, you take your child to an amusement park. You take them to Chuck E. Cheese. You take them to all the stuff that entertains him. But when they go home, is that entertainment for them? Is the home built like the amusement park? You got to have, your kids got to have the best experience. You can't give your child the same experience you had. And then the excuse is, I went through it. No, uh-uh. you couldn't have a better mind frame or did you, you didn't come up with a better thinking skill to actually have your child go through a different experience than the same experience you went through, especially if your experience wasn't good. How are you going to make your child go through the same experience that you went through and it wasn't good, but you desired for the outcome to be different? It's not going to happen. We have to protect our children's minds because grown-ups, when they get older, they're a product of who they were when they was younger. Just a bigger version. Everything that you learned, everything you taught, everything you saw, that's going to be a part of your projection. They say what? Uh, When you don't see somebody out of mind, you don't see somebody, that person ain't on your mind as much. You understand what I'm saying? If you ain't dealing with certain people, them people, because your mind is so infinite, it thinks about so much. And this life is for us to interact. This is the life of experience. So why would you give your child a messed up experience? That's that, that that's 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 like that's that's um and I'm learning from experience and I'm being the best that I can be because guess what? My desire is to have my children experience the best life they can up under our care. Not when they go to school they're experiencing the best life, like they feeling so good cause they around their peers and their teachers cause they give them so much love and care. It need to come from the home first. The love and the care and the support of the kids' ideas need to be supported at home first. They need to be cultivated at home first. That's the first thing that needs to happen. You prepare your child before that child goes outside his house to know what to do from right from wrong, right? The same rules and regulations 
go on in the household. Whatever happens in the household and how you carry yourself in your house shouldn't change when you go to school. That's why they say it starts at home. Home, and some children didn't have homes, right? They was house to house, and pillar to pillar, grandma, aunties, and uncles, right? Some of the mind friends are unstable. But like I said, the condition of the individual depends on that person's willpower. Now, the best experience, Disney World per se, right? Everybody look at Disney World, we see how we, you know, it's, uh, the kids are highly protected. They got security guards. You, you know what I mean? If somebody try to kidnap the kid. Just we just gonna take Disney World because listen, Disney, Walt Disney created a world, a real world that you go to and interact in. It came out of his mind. If he went to sleep and it came out of his dreams, guess what? He had the finances to actually make it come to pass. He acted upon it. And where, where we going at now? How long uh, Disney World been about? How long our parents been looking at Mickey Mouse and all the ideas of little mouse talking, running around and Pluto and a dog talking. All these things come from your imagination. A lot of these things come from dreams. See, if we allow the world to shape the minds of our children, it's going to be out of whack in a way, right? Because you got to you coming from a way of control, you know, uh, um, an apple, orange. You know what I mean? You don't want to blindfold the apple and put him in an orange patch and then he grow up with oranges and now he think he's orange until you look in the mirror and see how different he is. You understand what I'm saying? So we as humans, we are different. We come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Right? But that's only the outer appearance. The inside, we majority are the same, meaning we have the same functions as a heart, and liver, lungs, and you know, we no different. Some might not have a lung. Somebody might be missing, but everybody mostly got the same, you know, tools of operation to speak, voice. Some people can't speak. I had my brother, he couldn't talk. He was several parts scoliosis. He grew up in a wheelchair. Died at the age of 24. My brother, my oldest brother, one of my oldest brothers. So I experienced a lot of roughness growing up in my life. Mama and daddy protected us in a lot of things. And our innocence was challenged in a way. For our eyesight to see things that we're not supposed to see as youngsters. You understand? So you already know when your kids seeing things that they never seen before, they going to interact. This is the life of interaction. We're experiencing life. So we got to make sure that we give our children the best experience possible. Right? I fix my baby Baba. Guess what? She right there with me. Standing right on up. But she don't mess with me or nothing. She sit there and watch. The little small one right now. She's smart as well, boy, she's so smart and wise. Right? See, because of what you introduce her to. Right, so now this is my little project. Right, I mean, stri- the kids are borrowed, right? Because they come and they go, you know, go and they go find their wives and, and their husbands, and they go living on just like you was when you was up under your mom and dad. So it's, it's a it's a cycle. Some people don't never leave home. You know, people be 40, 50 years old still staying with their mom and daddy because of you know not being well. That's to go with fear. Not being, you know, to actually become an individual. They're attached. You know what I mean? They never, or the mama never cut the biblical cord. You understand what I'm saying? But, see, the biblical cord is a, a spiritual connection to your mom and dad. Cause that's the information. That's the milk. That's the nourishment. That's what you're getting from in, in continuously throughout life. You can still go to mom and dad and get some 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 eyesight on some things that they done did in life. But if your mom and daddy have not taught you what this life was all about and didn't expect you to be somebody successful, <laughs> I don't know. They just can't leave it up to the world. They say it's in God's hands. Yeah, but somebody put something in your hand and you very well are disrespecting it. You're neglecting your children. You got them in the phones. You in your phone. You ain't sat down and taught them how to sew. Like, we had skills when we came up, man. Like I say, I've come from 78, growed up in the 80s. 
You understand what I'm saying? So it was the eras that we come from is different. You understand what I'm saying? People that came up before us, 50s, 60s, and 70s, their environment was different, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Their environment had guns and water holes and dogs. You understand? They had to go through not drinking from the same. So you got to understand what that do to a person's mental state. When you having the babies in this state, so with the fear you got, you you, you birthing fear. He ain't coming up and he ain't learning about no uh, best experience. This man trying to, you got to hide and duck and run. And don't look at him and put your head down. And look at this, all this, this, this binding and, and, and knocking down and beating, beating you down before you must get here, bro. You ain't even got on earth when you having a messed up experience. Some of these people got the messed up experience in the womb. You understand? Mama getting drunk and you smoking crack and things that, that's affecting the baby that's in the womb. This stuff is real, bro. Them chemicals. So now that baby, he he want that. And he been eating this stuff since he... And the boy, some, somehow, some way, he turned into a fiend or crackhead or something because he was a crack baby. The majority of them, though. Just do the research. A lot of people don't go into that lifestyle because of their mamas and parents. You understand what I'm saying? Especially if mama and, did, mama and daddy did not attach that to that baby before that baby was born. You understand what I'm saying? So the experience that we give our children got to be the best. We got to believe and think of this as a big amusement park. And, and some amusement parks... Uh, you want to say the zoo, you can't go in certain parts because you will get man-doing, manhandled by some of the creatures in there. You understand what I'm saying? They got people that, that actually maintain their attitude, you know, aggression by feeding them and, and, and playing with the animals and, you know, keeping them occupied where they ain't looking at you as a meal. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Well, you can actually come and pet him or something like that, right? Because in the nature... Nature kicks in. The instincts of survival, man. I don't know you. Who you trying to come touch me for? Like, I ain't never seen you before in my life, and I'm an animal or a different kind of species or even a human. You understand what I'm saying? They're like, what, what, what's up? Hey, I've I been walking around here on my own for this long. I ain't never see you. Get back. It's my territory. What's up? That's nature. That's natural, bro. Like a, 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 you see somebody like when we growed up, it was natural. We couldn't allow nobody to fight on our cousins. There's just a lot of cousins. So I can say cousin, but I can't say. But I have a brother, right? Two brothers, but you know, like actually being raised, you know, corresponding with one another, playing back. I ain't never went through that playing back about football with my brothers. I ain't never experienced that. I ain't got no sister, so everybody experiences is different. Some people might have two parents, but still feel like they got one. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So. You got to know that the experience got to be a balance. Everybody can't. Dude, you can't have kids and regret having them, bro. I'm going to tell you right now. You finna mess up. You finna mess up that child life, bro. Especially if the uh, 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 sister. Especially if that child ain't around nothing great. And powerful, actually cultivated. Because sometimes the mama and daddy might not be yet, right? But grandma might still be holding it down, huh? She still got wisdom and knowledge and understanding of that. It's something she neglected, you know, not really putting down and, 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 and missed something, you know. And sometimes it don't, man, you can be the best of parents and your child still can come out. <laughs> like, what the what? You feel what I'm saying? Because it's DNA. It's because it's, this, this, this life ain't playing, bro. Man, this life ain't playing, man. People talk, man, this, anything can happen, bro. You should trust me, bro. Anything can happen at any given moment. That's why it is important to be prepared mentally, physically, and they say spiritually. Hmm? You got to be prepared, right? To experience, have the best, the best experience. You have to shield and protect them so when they're able to get out and fit on their own, they know what to do, what not to do. It's important. Because some people can grow up older than 50 years old and still have a 16-year-old mind frame. 
Cause they not I, Some people don't evolve in their minds Bro They sisters If you not evolving in your mind How you gonna look Or even have a mind frame To, to come up with new ideas Or new strategies to make things work you know how you think companies and business companies they come up with different marketing strategies they don't just keep putting out the same promotions you see them commercials keep changing and they might still put out all them commercials in that one month but they still gonna be hitting at different points of what they desire what they don't put to the plan board the chalkboard the planning board and the, but the planning is always about planning we look at cartoons pink in the brain they always plan degrees and, and math and trying to make contraptions this is what this is about you want to sit on the sideline and dictate and point and say this and that and you ain't got no stake in the game ain't nobody listening to you man you just like one of them drunks out there mom, just looking at yeah you think you saying something but up, bubbles coming out your mouth yeah, in your mind, you, you believe that you actually making sense. But in reality, people hear about it. Yeah, man, because yeah, you got to be tangible. You got to be tangible. What you talking about got to be tangible. Ain't nobody going to be coming in the show buying no bubbles. I can't eat that. Ain't no suffers in bubbles. You can just blow them and it, poof, it's gone. Bubbles don't stay, you know, uh, animated. <laughs> At all. You, you, you might find a couple of bubbles that, you, you know what I mean? But when you pop, there ain't no substance. So what I'm saying is, man, we have to raise our children. And we say raise them. It's almost like uh, raising crop, right? You're protecting them from the, uh, the elements, the bugs, pests. Stuff that's gonna stop that flower or, or that fruit from growing in a way that it can be able to produce its best batches. See, that's what we're doing because anything can grow. Would the food be good enough to eat? That's why they say, what you know the what? The fruit. You know the tree from the fruit? You know the tree, the fruit from the tree? And yeah, because if it's an orange tree, then you already know that's an orange tree. Maybe it's just going to bear orange fruit. you never seen an orange tree bear apple fruit unless they slice in DNA. Because what we had going right now, <laughs> they might, well, yeah, I keep playing. You finna get a lot of things finna go finna change up though. And this pandemic is a uh, it's a trial run to see how they can benefit without using you as human. You already know that uh, you know machinery right now is taking over a lot of jobs. Self checkout, uh, the toll. Y'all can see the stuff just twinkling down in your face. A lot of stuff that, that was controlled by manpower. I'm talking about the, in a big way. It's gone. Highways ain't being ran by humans no more. What happened to them people? Where their jobs at now? Uh, people been working out there. Some of this stuff been built for so many years. What 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 did they transition to? Computers can't get no virus. <laughs> a robot can't get the coronavirus. <laughs> I keep playing games, man. Y'all just looking at what they showing y'all. They building in the back of y'all. Why y'all think that every time they can create some things and I'm still on um, giving your child the best experience. I'm just telling you from the point of every little thing that you're going to experience, not every little thing because I can't do that. I only can be staying focused on the thing that I'm aware of. Some things that I'm, I'm not aware of, so I can't know everything. I only can know the same things that I'm involved in. But in this way, a lot of stuff been taken away from us. And it's, it's like a, a experiment. You know it's an experiment. Y'all forget about all the experiments that they used to put out in the black and white showing us narcotics. They used to have a TV show when we was young. See, the education is different now. They say dumbing, you know, dumbing a lot of these generations down. But they wise enough to know this and that. But I'm saying like straight training. It was used to uh, show us 
what uh, cocaine do to people. Not just, I'm talking about these doctors and, and the fucking whatever. I mean, you know, they're in a the lab. And I seen it. They, they give him parts. We want to see how he act on that. They, so all this was an experiment, bro. So <laughs> if y'all pass, the, pass that, that, that viewpoint, man, look at here. It ain't what it is. All this stuff was experimented. Everything that we are experiencing was experimented. <laughs> we didn't experiment, man. How you gonna experience, experience something that it wasn't an experiment? It was meant for you to experience this. So I'm gonna experiment on you. How you think people experiment on mother, on other people? They portraying them with, with value systems. But see, if you ain't got no strong value system, you. <laughs> You're going to get portrayed and, and misused in all kind of ways because you're going to do whatever you want for money or for whatever value system that you're connected to. So if your value system ain't your value system, you yourself, then how are we going to be able to obtain anything for yourself? You'll be using somebody else's information to try to be somebody. Right? That ain't the way it goes. You can obtain somebody else information for you to be somebody. Like, how do that work? I don't understand that. I understand that a person has been here before, right? And they might have been going through the same um, situation that you done been through. But situations might stay the same. But the uh, atmosphere done change, you know, in certain ways. Like they, they was uh, like I said back in the seventies, the sixties, the forties, early fifties, and stuff like that. Makes like our parents and grandparents and great grandparents, they had a, they, they was in a different environment. The environment was different. You know what I mean? It was stuff that they are going through that we'll never go through, bro. You know, so our minds being conditioned to what we so if I'm um growing up in the 60s and 70s, just just imagine how my mind has to be conditioned to wake up every day. Knowing that I can get fucking uh, a white dude with a, a white hat and just snatch me out of my house, man, and sick me on this uh, a cross a crucifix and, and crucify my ass, uh, uh, come out. And, so you got to look at their mindset, bro. Their mindset was different. They mindset was straight super survival. It wasn't no boys get my children to breakfast parents. Man. It's like, man, this boy, hey, but well, we all in survival mode right now. So, so that animal instinct kicked in. You know what I mean? Well, protection kick in. Well, you you over protected in so many ways. Well, you beating the shit out your child, so then they won't beat the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it's in so many ways that you, you 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 come from. You're a product of what you come from. So I mean, a white man, and you know, you come from slavery. And that's what all that whooping the motherfucker come from. Beating the shit out of nigga. You feel me? Right there on, on right there on the on, on the plantation. And so now they created little. Little, little plots of plantation, but you thinking not the community, the neighborhood. You still plantation, man. It's still somebody running that shit. You got a nigga who who uh, uh, who uh, falsely thinking he runs shit. Cause guess what? They got the field nigga, like you always say, and you got the house nigga. And this is how this shit is still right now. That mentality still. It's Let's being stuck into people's minds today. Making this motherfucking thing. He ain't got no title, paperwork, written, none of that. I'm gonna this your shit, you run the city. You can run the city, you ain't running nothing but trouble. I'm gonna set your place you know what I mean? You, you ain't Let's connected with nothing. You can't retire with this. None of this can... Yeah. You, you, you're I'm teaching them, I mean, come on. Your place on fire. We got to raise our children, bro. And brothers and sisters, we got to have them in the, in the, in the right environment. Are you teaching what you want now? The outcome going to be on you. It's like pouring dirty water in a clean glass. The glass clean, but not no more. Once you pour that dirty, you're going to have to wash that glass. 
and refill it. That's the same thing with our minds and mentality. It's like downloading a bad program and now that kid got a virus. You're going to have to go get some fixes. You be paying for them all to uh, take the virus off your computer, but you can't even uh, understand the psychological virus that's inside your child's mind that you done passed on from your, your, your um, rebooting or misqualifications of information that you done passed down to your child. You can't have your child going through nothing that you went through. If you went through something wrong and bad, don't say, I went through this. You, you got to go through this because I went. No, man, you, you, you got to think of another way for your child to experience his life. You can't mess, you, you can't allow your children to go through stuff because you went through it. Now, how was the outcome when you went through it? It wasn't good. So how the hell are you going to allow your child who ain't asked to be Damn, here to go through something like that? Oh, he got to be strong. No, no, no. You ain't strong. You a weak mother. You a weak father. You can't protect your child's mind and his innocence. That's what we here for. Let's get high I'm my baby growing up. My baby got to see and hear all the right things. So she can be successful. I would just throw my baby in the fucking crack house somewhere and expect her to come out there more uh, uh, being successful. That shit turned tricks. Prostitutes and all that crazy shit. Mother to try to get her high. We giving out the rock round here, bro. See, y'all so used to that commercial way of people talking to y'all, uh, hide behind the door, peeking through corners. And, but you come get this raw shit. Now, you might have to cut it. But I don't got to because I'm am the raw shit. Protect your children's mind. Protect your children's heart. Protect its spirit.